All right, so I'm gonna switch gears here um, and I'm gonna talk about something, a new fitness hack that I just recently introduced into the, the fitness community. Um, I did a guest blog post on Tim Ferriss's four hour work week a couple days ago um, where I'm introducing this concept of using heat stress um, through something like the sauna to cause, uh, to induce physiological adaptations that allow you to better deal with heat stress later on. So for example, um, when you're exercising physical activity, you're increasing your bo core body temperatures increase, that's a heat stress. So um, this, this term I call is hyperthermic conditioning. And what I'm gonna talk to you about is how hyperthermic conditioning your body uh, to heat stress through the sauna can um, cause endurance enhancements, can help you maintain lean muscle mass, and can also uh, have positive benefits on the brain. So um, let's talk about some of these endurance enhancements. So hyperthermic conditioning through using the sauna um, to condition your body to heat stress, to deal with heat, um, actually increases blood flow to your muscles um, later on when you're elevating your core body temperature. And what this does is as this uh, increases nutrient take to your muscles, so you're having more esterified fatty acids, more glucose and oxygen being transported to your muscle cells so that your muscles rely less on local glycogen stores when you're doing some sort of endurance training, and this has been shown in multiple studies. In addition, it also increases blood flow to the heart. So um, this improves cardiovascular mechanisms. So actually, uh, for the, it lowers the heart rate for the same given work strain or the same given workload that you're applying. Um, and so it allows you to maintain exercise for longer. And also improves the thermoregulatory mechanisms. So uh, being heat acclimated um, or hypothermic conditioning can allows your body to start sweating at a lower core body temperature and also to maintain that sweat for a longer time period so it actually cools your core body temperature and it also activates the sympathetic nervous system uh, cooling your core body temperature. So um, what kind of endurance enhancements can you expect to gain from hypothermic conditioning? Well, in one study, uh, 30 minutes on a session twice a week for six weeks after their running session, these are male runners, uh, they experienced a 32% increase in their running distance until exhaustion. Um, and that corresponded with a 7% increase in plasma volume and a corresponding 3.5% uh, increase in their red blood cell count, which is thought to be a compensation for the increased plasma volume. Um, this is one study, but if you go and look, check out my article on uh, the four-hour work week blog, you'll see um, multiple other studies that back this up and so that support um, this study.